What is up everybody, how's it going? It's Jack here, back on RuneScape with another quick update video. So, uh, this WXP weekend is coming up, um, and I'm very excited for it. I have a couple of skills planned that I want to max out or get close to max out. So, I'm going to be training agility for the most part, and it's one of my most dreaded skills, and I've only trained it through barb fishing, which is very surprising. But I've actually gotten pretty high of it. I've gotten up to 86, but I really want to get to 99 so I don't really have to worry about shortcuts anymore. Especially now that waterfall fishing is coming out this week, and unfortunately I'm going to have to boost that. So, I have been preparing for this for quite a while. I have uh, tons of armor that's going to give me negative uh, weight. I also have a stockpile of silverhawk feathers, so later in the levels I'll be able to get some more experience in that. Um, I also have some other different skill-based uh, Proteum items that I'm going to be showing you guys in a quick second. So in case I actually do get 99 ahead of schedule in the next 72 hours, uh, I can focus on that skill. So anyway, I'm going to sh show you my, uh, my loadout right now. So this is my loadout. Um, now, you guys might not know about this. This was an armor that came out many years ago. It's called the Golden Athlete's Armor, and it gives you negative, uh, I believe, negative six weight when you're wearing the entire thing. But I've decided to switch out the boots for Boots of Lightness and for Silverhawk boots because I decided that, you know what, I want to make this as fast as possible, and if I do make a mistake, I do want to catch up on time and make this as efficient as possible. So I'm going to be using the Boots of Lightness, but when I start to get near 95 or 96 in agility, I'm going to be switching into my Silverhawk boots and charging them with as many feathers as I possibly can. If I'm not mistaken, Silverhawk feathers should still work during bonus experience, but if they don't, I can easily just use them after double XP weekend, so not a big deal. I can also sell them because I've gotten all of these Silverhawk feathers uh, naturally off my daily spins. So I have a, th um, a little under a thousand charges, which is great. I mean, that's a ton of experience. Besides that, I also have um, a Master Clan Cape, so I can teleport to different areas if I need to. And during uh, Voice of Saren, I can teleport to the Hyphen Course, and I can do my uh, balancing um, pillars. Um, during each day and in case I do actually get 99 ahead of schedule I've decided that I do want to try to at least get close to maxi out crafting or at least use some of the protein materials that I've collected so over the past couple months I've gotten a ton of these crafting catalysts and what they pretty much do is they speed up your crafting and I believe they do give you a bit of uh, bonus experience um, I also have a ton of these protein hides I have a little under 3,000 of those and they're not going to last too much, uh, too long, but considering that they do give a lot of experience and they give you no resources and they're free, plus I'm going to have the catalyst which is going to speed up my crafting time and give me some bonus experience, it will be kind of nice. I do have around 70,000 bonus experience in crafting too, um, but I don't think that's really going to kick in during uh, DXP, so I'm not worried too much about that. But I only have about 5 million experience to go in crafting, so it will be kind of interesting to see how far I can get. Uh, besides that, I also do have a bit of a method to make this completely AFKable. Uh, I'm going to get all my work done right before uh, WXP weekend, that way I don't have to worry about it and I can just focus on getting as much experience as I can. But a lot of people used to do the method that I'm about to do. Um, many years ago, and it's not too used that much these days, but I'm about to show you. Alright guys, I'm back, and uh, this is the method that I used to use, and I recently, so, a couple months ago, I found out that there actually is a way, besides clicking, to make the hyphen course in Elf City 100% afk -able. This includes getting rewards, and these little um, light creatures that teleport you, and velocity. So, this is a method a lot of people used to use back in the day, and I don't know why people have stopped using it. I think they've been scared of being banned or whatever because they don't understand it. But these are screen markers, and it's a program that you can get. It's very easy. It's very, uh, it's free. You just go to screenmarker.com, and it allows you to draw these little points on your screen and whatever pattern you really need. And it's fantastic for people that want to be efficient with their skilling and they don't exactly know off the top of the head where to click. And it especially is important for someone that's going to be doing agility. For me, I have, two, I have double monitors, so I'm going to be watching movies on one side and playing RuneScape on the other. But this is the way that you should have your screen set up if you're going to be doing the hyphen course AFK. So what you want to do is you want to stand one space um, 
in front of this light creature. Then you want to try to line up this this uh, tree over here. You're going to use these few leaves over here as your reference, but you should try to line them up somewhere around here so that the leaves up here are kind of pointing into this rabbit, and these leaves over here are somewhere above this arch in the background. So. You, then you want to put your cursor right around here, I would say, and just start going. So you might have to adjust it. It does take a little time, a couple minutes to, you know, find the right spot. But as you can see, I'm so far doing pretty well. And, you know, you can still use shortcuts if you need to. That's fine. Um, as you can see, I'm three obstacles in and I'm still going strong. Usually you would have to be moving your uh, mouse or your screen around. And you really don't have to. It of course, as a reminder, it does take a little bit of patience to get it correct. So, you know, you might have to waste a lap or two to get it right. But it's a very efficient way. So you can watch a movie on one side of the screen. And if you have a wireless keyboard, it's even better. And you can just go on your phone or you can do whatever. You could talk to friends on Skype. And as you see, I did the entire course just by clicking. I never had to move my cursor once. So. It's a fantastic way to train it, and I can't wait for the Stubble XP weekend. Um, it's going to be really good, and I plan on getting a lot of levels. So, uh, guys, let me know what you're going to be doing on Stubble XP weekend. I'm going to be doing agility, getting ready for waterfall fishing, and possibly training crafting. So, I will see you guys later. Peace!